Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Daniel McGuire here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the truths about certain entry-level positions as well as entry-level jobs. Kind of, you know, the stuff you never really hear about from schools or maybe a recruiter, stuff that really requires first-hand experience based on what I've been able to see and what I know a lot of other people have seen as well. So be sure you like the video, stick around, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get to it. Okay, because you are gonna be an entry-level position, you are gonna be at the bottom of the totem pole, which would imply, you know, you're gonna be doing a lot more of the grunt work, a lot of the tasks that senior people don't really wanna do, they're gonna kind of push them onto you. And that's fine, you know, you have to put in your time to really get to a position where you can put it off to somebody else if you don't really wanna do it. So just kind of have your expectations within check that, you know, you may not be doing everything that's kind of promised to you initially, you're gonna to have to work for that and you're gonna to have to get to a place where you aren't doing the very meticulous and very monotonous activities and tasks that are assigned on a day-to-day -day basis. At some point, you can't pawn that off or kind of, you know, you're above doing that because your pay is gonna dictate that you don't really have to do that anymore. But just kind of, again, expect that you are gonna be at the bottom of the totem pole doing a lot of the busy work initially. So I kind of briefly touched on this on advice for entry-level positions. In my other video, if you haven't seen that, you can go and check it out. But with that, you know, the most important thing about these jobs is getting experience and really understanding the industry as a whole. When you're an entry level, again, you're gonna be doing a lot of the grunt work, but with that, you're gonna be able to learn a lot in terms of, you know, what goes into a certain project, what goes into a certain task. You're gonna learn the basics about that, which are gonna be invaluable further down the line. Also with that, as I mentioned, you know, experience is gonna to equate to networking. The more people you know, the more experience you have, the more valuable you're gonna be, not only to the company, but to yourself if you choose to kind of divert from the company and go elsewhere. The more connections you have, the more resources you're gonna be able to pull from if you kind of wanna do something where, you know, you may not be in line with the company, but you wanna do something for yourself and go to a different company. It's definitely, you know, the most important part about starting at the bottom and working your way up is you are not only kind of pooling resources from the company that's existing, but you're also, you know, working up with other entry level people at other companies and then your network is building up them and then eventually, you know, you'll be the senior level individuals and you can kind of pull back because you've known each other for so long. So again, just get that experience, which is gonna be very, 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 very invaluable. I know there's a lot of areas, but it's gonna be very important for future reference as well as networking down the line as well. Okay, this next one may be a bit of a hard pill to swallow, but it's gonna be the pay isn't that great at an entry level position. Again, you are kind of a fresh graduate, so they don't really expect you to know a whole lot. So they're gonna really do a lot of investing into you to train you up to be at that point where you are being able to worth the pay. So just kind of weather that storm, you know, try to adjust your expectations for what you're gonna be making when you graduate and the jobs that are gonna be available for an entry level person. Because again, a lot of these companies, they're gonna have to put a lot of time into you, as I mentioned. They're gonna have to put in maybe six months to a year, maybe a year and a half to really get you to a point where you're very self-sustainable and you're you know, autonomous completely, where they can just give you a task and you can run with it. Whereas, you know, an entry level person, you're not more than likely not gonna be able to do that. You're gonna have to kind of be helped and guided along the way and have certain checkpoints. So that's why the pay isn't that great because you're gonna have to have somebody kind of carrying you along to those certain phases and certain checkpoints that they expect from you. So really just have your expectations in mind when you are looking for a job and kind of, you know, the potential salary that's offered and really try and work around that. Especially in the private sector, as I mentioned, it's gonna be a little more difficult to get a higher paying job because they are really about making money and cutting out the bottom line. So just consider that the pay isn't, you know, something to write home about, especially for an entry level position. It'll come with time and experience. Now this next one, you know, maybe you've had a prior job before you really start working with your degree or whatever, where you may not agree with a manager. And that kind of same applies to obviously a corporation or a company that you're with, where you may not agree with a senior individual and you just have to kind of go with it again, just kind of weather the storm of anybody that's kind of there. You know, maybe they just come across to you, they've kind of gone through some things and you just really don't know their background, especially for the first six months to a year where everybody's still kind of trying to feel you out and you're really feeling out the company as well. So just consider that, you know, they may not really get along with everybody, but that's just part of the workplace. You have to kind of, that's part of the workforce, excuse me. You have to just kind of get along with everybody as best you can to get the work done. And that's gonna be the most important thing in the end. So really just kind of push through any, you know, issues you might have and then kind of, you know, work through a lot of the issues. That'll be probably the most beneficial. And if you can't, then just, you know, may either talk to the person or talk to the manager, just kind of try and work it out. But it'll really just take a while to get used to the people there as well as, you know, all the personalities and kind of gelling with that sort of company culture and company experience. Okay, I've really emphasized this one on the entry level advice. And I just want to emphasize it again, just because you get one job, one offer, excuse me, or even a job right out, and that's your first one and you automatically take it, doesn't mean that it's going to be the best fit and doesn't mean that it's going to be the one for you. You're going to maybe be able to kind of find something else that works better for you. You like a company culture more than another one. Just really figure that out as early as you possibly can. 
you know, it's easier to explain maybe a three month kind of internship probationary period with a company than, you know, eight months at one company and you go to another one. It's easier to explain one versus the other. So just really try and, you know, figure out what works best for you instead of just saying, this is the first job I got, I'm gonna commit to it, that's it. And then you get there and again, you may not like it, you may not like the culture, you may not like the, uh, the work life they have. And that's just really something you have to figure out really just trial and error you know maybe you can kind of vet some of that out through the intern interview process but that's going to be the most important and really just one of the trickiest things to kind of flesh out so i hope you found this video informative uh, if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment section as i mentioned be sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching